In the jungle, elephants are the biggest, giraffes are the tallest, great apes are the smartest, and cheetahs are the fastest animals. Yet, the title of the king of the jungle is, more often than not, attributed to the members of the genus Panthera, namely the tiger, the lion, the jaguar, the leopard, and the snow leopard, commonly referred to as the big four cats. Talking of the big four cats, tigers and lions are the biggest of the big cats. But if the title of the king of the jungle should go to the big cats, which between the tiger and the lion will be more deserving and why? Which of them will win in a one on one fight? Watch on to find out. Appearance and size. Appearance is the single most conspicuous difference between tigers and lions. The first thing you will notice when you see these big cats is the difference in their fur color patterns. While lions have solid colors with faint spots, tigers usually have visible black stripes. These stripes are skin deep. This means that if you shave off their furs, you will still see the stripes. The beautiful stripes on each tiger are unique and serve as identifiers for tigers, similar to our fingerprints. Adult male lions are distinct with big males around their faces, which can make them appear bigger than their size. They are the only members of the big cats with this clear central dimorphism. Lions can actually be larger than some tiger subspecies. However, most tigers are generally larger than lions. When people hear of tigers, mites always go to the most common tiger subspecies, the Bengal and the Siberian tigers. These subspecies are bigger than all subspecies of lions. Male tigers of these subspecies can grow as much as 3.9 meters in length and weigh upwards of 300 kilograms. On the other hand, male lions can grow to be 2.1 meters in length and around 220 kilograms in weight. Range and Habitat Once widespread throughout much of Africa and Eurasia, lions now only range from grasslands of East Africa to sands of Kalahari Desert, South Sahara to South Africa. Only a fraction of the population still lives in Asia. Due to scarcity of prey, lions avoid dense forests. As with most other animals, competition for grasslands by humans has drastically reduced the lion's range and ultimately their population. Tigers range from India to Siberia and Southeast Asia. Their preferred habitat is forest, although they can also be found in grasslands and swamp margins. Tigers require a good population of large prey and constant water supply. Social behavior. Tigers coexist with other predators such as leopards, shariq white dogs, brown bears and wolves throughout most of their range. Usually, there is little or no interaction between species, especially since tigers are mostly nocturnal and the other species are mainly diurnal. However, when they do cross paths, tigers are known to be very aggressive. Tigers are territorial and usually solitary in nature, interacting briefly only for mating purposes and occasionally to share their kill. However, there has been a few documented instances in which tigers have collaborated on a hunt similar to a pride of lions. They communicate through visual signals, scent marks, and vocalizations. Lions are the most social of all cats. Unlike the tigers, lions live in groups known as prides. Most prides contain about 14 members, but prides can have as many as 40 members. Females outnumber males by a substantial margin, despite a near 50% male-female birth ratio. This is probably due to the tendency of males to be nomads, take on more dangerous prey and be killed in pride takeover attempts. Lions communicate in various ways. The males usually mark territories by spraying urine mixed with fluid from anal glands. Pride members engage in a greeting ceremony which can be done in various ways, such as by approaching with soft moans, then rubbing heads and sides of bodies, raising tails over the other lion's back, leading against each other, licking, and so on. Other forms of communication include the use of facial expressions, eyes, ears, tail, and body postures to convey mood and behavioral intent. Diet and hunting behavior Both big cats are mostly carnivores and apex predators. 
Tigers mainly prey on large animals such as deer, buffalo, and wild pigs. But they will also hunt fish, monkeys, bears, reptiles, and sometimes even baby elephants. Occasionally, tigers kill leopards, bears, and other tigers. Tigers can mimic the calls of other animals to lure them. Being a solitary hunter, a tiger succeeds in achieving a kill after dozens of attempts. The next move after a kill is to drag their prey to a secluded spot so as to eat undisturbed and then hide the carcass from scavengers till next visit. The tiger is a fastidious eater. He will first shave off the hair with his front incisors before commencing. Then he will tear off chunks and bolt it straight down with the bones. Well fed with around 20 kilograms of fresh meat, the tiger will then proceed to cover the remainder with dry leaves before departing for a drink of water, resting thereafter. Adult male lions don't often hunt but stay back and let the lionesses hunt to feed the pride. Adult females require an average of 11 pounds of meat per day and adult males 15.4 pounds. The pride provides food to each sick and wounded members but not to the male. The male uses his size to take what he wants of the lioness's scale. A typical diet will include zebra, giraffe, buffalo, wildebeest, gazelles, and impala. Lions are opportunistic and will readily scavenge the kills of cheetahs, leopards, white dogs, and hyenas. And now for the big fight. These nature's greats don't often cross paths, let alone engage in battles, as they usually don't live in the same habitat. It has always been humans interested in the battle between lions and tigers, be it hunters, naturalists, historians, or even enthusiasts. In ancient Rome, for instance, lions and tigers were often pitted against each other in arenas for cruel entertainment purposes. To attract the plebeians' attention, Roman emperors organized fights between African lions and Asian tigers in the Colosseum. The battles were always very fierce. Let's look at their strengths and weaknesses. Research finds that tigers have larger brains than lions relative to their body size. While a male lion appears bigger in stature due to his majestic manes, we have seen that a male tiger weighs much more. Additionally, a tiger has more fighting and hunting capabilities than a lion. For instance, it has denser muscles, wider legs, and a lower center of gravity, giving it better stamina. It also has bigger and stronger paws and can leap higher when attacking. A key advantage of tigers is that tigers balance themselves on their hind legs to move with both front paws simultaneously. But lions stand on three paws to move with the fourth. Tigers also have strong, flexible hind legs, making them quite good at rearing. In contrast, lions are not made for rearing and usually use their teeth as the major weapon. Even then, Although both lions and tigers have approximately 30 teeth, tigers have longer and sharper pairs of fangs that can inflict a deeper wound on their opponents. Fangs of the tigers are approximately 4 inches, while lion teeth are approximately 3 inches in size. Thus, the bite force of a tiger is greater than that of a lion. Another notable feature of tigers is that they can easily climb trees and swim even in fast-flowing rivers. Tigers are competent predators adapted to different ecosystems, from swimming in lakes to climbing trees. They can hunt their prey in broad daylight or ambush victims in the dark as they have excellent eyesight. In running speed, lions can run between 45 to 50 miles per hour. Tigers, on the other hand, can only run between 30 and 40 miles per hour. Tigers are also likely to get tired faster than lions. Tigers are less social and often engage in solitary hunting. Lions live and hunt in groups. Therefore, lions have more hunting success rates. Who would win? As we have seen their strengths and weaknesses, it's fair to say that tigers may have the edge. In fact, if a Siberian or Bengal tiger is pitted against a lion, the lion will have only little chance, and that is the chance to escape and run away. In Ankara Zoo, Turkey, a Bengal tiger found a hole in the fence separating its cage and that of a lion and walked through the hole into the lion's cage. With a single stroke of its paw on the lion's juggler, the tiger left it hopelessly dying in a pool of blood. 
If a smaller sized subspecies of tiger is pitted against a fully grown adult male lion, then the outcome will be different. There is also a chance that the tiger may meet the lions in their group, since lions move and hunt in groups. In this case, the tiger would definitely lose, especially if the pride has more than one adult male. However, we won't rule out the tiger taking out a few lions before it succumbs. Nonetheless, there have been recorded situations in which lions won head-to-head -head fights with tigers. If a fight ends in a draw, tigers are the likeliest to survive because they have antiseptic saliva and would actively lick their wounds to prevent infection. In the unlikely event that the fight happens close to a water body, tigers are good swimmers but lions are not. In summary, the outcome of a fight between a lion and a tiger depends strongly on the location, the circumstances and individuals, their age, breed, their mood, their fighting style and their physiology. Although there is no agreement among the experts about who would win, their decision favors the tigers. We at Nature Thrillers agree with this. The King of the Jungle now that we have seen that tigers are better placed to win a fight with lions, who is the king of the jungle? Why is it even a debate? Why aren't tigers the kings of the jungle? Why considering the lion? Well, all the cautious of the world would probably agree that a king should have leadership qualities and not only be a strong figure. Tigers are stronger, but being solitary animals, they have no one to lead. Lions lead their prize like kings lead their kingdoms. They don't often hunt but send their pride to hunt and bring food home. When they return, the lion eats first, like a king would do. Also, if on the course of hunting, the pride encounters resistance from other predators like hyenas, the lion will step in and the intruders will run because the lion is feared. He protects his pride. His roar is also very loud, distinctive and commanding. In fact, Lion's roar is the loudest among all the cats. Unlike tigers, male lions have a royal look. Their colorful and magnificent manes distinguish them from other members of the pride. The manes can be likened to crowns worn by kings. That's it from us. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.